ADNV's digital night vision devices can have up to Gen 3 levels of low light performance. However, to accomplish this, ADNV sensors have low resolution. Both the G14SE and the G14P2 only have a resolution of 800 by 600. This is a lot lower than the theoretical resolution of image intensifier tubes. But is it really? Let's test it out. To test the devices scientifically, we're going to use this ISO-12233 test chart. The test chart will be backlit by a light source capable of 0.01 lux all the way to 20,000 lux. This will let us measure the resolution of the units in both high light and low light conditions. And these are the units we're going to be testing. First up, we have the ADNV G14P2. This is ADNV's flagship monocular with a 1 inch 800 by 600 CMOS sensor. In my previous testing, the ADNV G14P2 can match Omni 8 Gen 3 PVS 4 teams in terms of low light performance. And the second ADNV digital unit we'll be testing today is the ADNV G14SE. This is basically the same unit as the G14P2, except it has a 2 thirds inch sensor instead of a 1 inch one. The resolution is the same. In my previous testing, the ADNV G14SE roughly matches a low grade NVT4 Gen 2 tube. And on the analog tube side, we first have the CTC PVS1440, which is a Chinese PVS14 clone with an NNVT NVT4 Gen 2 tube installed. This unit coincidentally costs the same as the G14P2. Next, we have the Yaksa14 with Arcus glass and the NNVT NVT7 tube installed. This, along with the L3 PVS14, are the highest resolution night vision devices I own. so these are the horizontal and vertical resolution results in one lux of highlighting. In conditions this bright, the resolving power of the tube matters much less than the resolving power of the lenses on the unit. And in this case, we can see that the NVT7 in the Yaksa 14 clearly wins. But the ADNV digital units aren't far behind either. These are the results with the test chart light source set all the way down to the lowest setting which measures around 0.005 lux. These lighting conditions are almost equivalent to NL4 starlight, maybe with just a tiny sliver of moon, which are also conditions where you will find night vision most useful. And in these conditions of light and hence signal deprivation, the capabilities of the tube or the sensor in the unit starts to matter a lot more than the lenses attached to the unit. And in these lighting conditions, we can see that the NVT7 still edges out the ADNV G14 series, with negligible difference between the NVT4 and the G14P2. But we have to keep something in mind here. While yes, the ADNV G14P2 may trail behind the NVT7 in terms of resolution and match the NVT4, the G14P2 easily beats the NVT4 in terms of extreme low light sensitivity and maybe just slightly surpasses the NVT7 in this regard. Now back to the results, we can see that the G14SE has the lowest resolution of all of the units here, but it is also the cheapest unit here. You can buy the G14SE at a price brand new that is cheaper than any brand new image intensifier tube unit. 
And well, since exchange rates are all over the place right now and night vision device prices fluctuate all the time, I'm just going to list the prices of all the units I've tested in terms of how many G14 SEs they cost. And yeah, when looking at the prices, you can forgive the ADNV G14 series for having a slight or negligible resolution penalty compared to analog units. And this is what I mean by negligible. Zooming in on this bulldozer here, with the exception of the G14 SE, I'd say you'd be hard pressed to find any real difference between the G14 P2 image and that of the NVT4 and the NVT7. Remember, this is observed at the same distance. The G14 SE performing slightly worse here is on account of its smaller sensor having lower sensitivity rather than its pixel resolution. And before we end the video, returning viewers may be asking why I did not test my L3 PVS14 with its Gen 3 Omni 8 thin film tube. And it's because the L3 PVS14's Fujinon lenses have extreme field curvature when focused onto a target this close. This wouldn't be a problem if you were not focusing your PVS14 up this close, but yeah, this is what we're working with. So yeah, trying to test resolution through this is going to be pointless. And well, that's it. Thanks for watching.